The plumbing system on Sherry's grooming van is a mixture of plumbing for RV and residential. This was because it has to hold enough water for about six or seven grooming jobs. Also, the tub needed to be strong and yet lightweight. I also wanted to have a tool that I had used at one of the grooming shops I used to work at. They had uh, what was called a bathing beauty. This system reduces the water needed and gets the dog cleaner. It even gives the dog a good massage while getting the dirt, loose coat, and dander out. I looked at how the Bathing Beauty system and other similar systems work, and based on the requirements of the salon, came up with this. The system starts with the tub. The tub is part of the wall that separates the grooming area from the wet bay. This wall also has the AC unit and the electrical and storage closet. The tub has two drains, one at each end, so grooming can be done even if the van is parked on a slope. The drains have screens on them as the first stage of keeping hair out of the plumbing. The tub is made from a steel frame with quarter inch hardy backer for the tub floor and walls. This was then covered with FRP and the seams were then epoxied together to seal it. The fresh water is stored in the wet bay in a plastic 20 gallon drum. Drums cost less than dedicated tanks and these were free. I got them as scrap. The drum has a one inch hole at the top for filling. I drilled and tapped a half inch hole for the feed to the freshwater pump. Keeping the pump below the water level is important to a long pump life, as they don't last long if they have to suck the water from below. The water is pumped through the polypropylene tubing to the copper pipe that connects to the shower pipe through the wall, then to the green hose on the left side of the tub. The pump is 12 volt and so is controlled by one of the toggle switches mounted on the closet door. Water from the tub is drained to a five gallon bucket under the tub. The water passes through a nylon stocking that is the second stage of keeping hair out of the plumbing. This sock is replaced when it gets full. The system drains into a bucket because this is where the sump pump picks up the water for the bathing system. The pump has a nylon stocking on it as the third stage of keeping hair out of the system. This pump pumps water and shampoo up the hose to the right side of the bathtub where it is used for washing the dog. This recirculates the water around and gets the dog cleaner, faster, and uses much less water than other systems. The nozzle that Bill made from a PVC pipe cap gives a good spray into the fur. The climate where you live is hot six months of the year and insanely hot for three months of the year. For most of that time, hot water isn't needed. For the few weeks that it's cold, hot water helps. I just bring five gallons and jugs to add to the system as needed. When we're finished bathing the dog, then the water is drained using the 12 volt drain pump from the bottom of the bucket. This pump is the same model as the fresh water pump. We're just using it for a different job. It is pumped up to the gray water 55 gallon drum and goes in through the top. It takes about six to eight dog baths to fill the gray water drum to over half full. This is unless Bill is helping me by bathing. Then he can fill up after eight dogs. Well, maybe that has to do with the fact that I help with the large dogs. Anyway, when it does need to be emptied, I just connect the bottom drain to the portable tank that I then just walk over to the sewer connection and dump it. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.